You guys are in for a special treat right now, a true special treat. Uh, this guy came on into the Kill Tony universe just a couple months ago and has taken it over by absolute fucking storm. One of the greatest fucking finds we've ever had in the history of pulling names out of this bucket. Recent golden ticket winner, only his fourth or fifth appearance ever in the show's history. Make some noise for the unbelievable stylings of Aaron Belial, everybody. This is the future. He is the future. I'm warning you right now. He has cerebral palsy that affects his voice. He's setting up now. He is undefeated so far on this show. He's an absolute fucking firecracker. How about one more time for Aaron Belial? So I'm thinking about suing my chiropractor. I didn't deserve this. He took my parking spot, so I fucked his wife. I used to think nobody wanted to hang out with me because I was disabled, but it turns out it was actually because I was a dick. That's right, disabled people can be dicks too. I only ever break up with women over text. What kind of asshole does that? Sometimes I would wait outside a handicapped bathroom stall even if I don't need it. So while I've been waiting, I shit myself. Now you have to change me. And this time, please make sure you wipe front to back. A lady at the movie theater called me retarded for being in her way. So I motorboated her popcorn like the cookie monster. Aaron Belial, ladies and gentlemen. Another new minute, every time. Unbelievable. This is your guys' first time seeing the great Aaron Belial. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Hilarious. Uh, one of the most unique people I've seen in stand-up. And the, way, and the jokes are great. Your jokes are really funny. So, great. I loved it. It's Love amazing. It. it really is. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that, that was a lot of typing for that payout <laughs> yeah. right there. I thought He was looking for fuck you, but he hit <laughs> thank by mistake. <laughs> Aaron, you did it again. Whitney, what do you think about this? You're fucking brilliant. That was so fun to watch. I just, my brain, I'm so fucking neurotic. I was like, what if the Wi-Fi goes out? What is the plan? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually Bluetooth. Oh, is it Bluetooth? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah but no, but this is like, a, also watching you just like anticipating the joke, the tension of it was just as fun as the actual joke. That was a fucking blast. Will you marry me? <laughs> Oh, shit. It, oh, let's see. I don't know. Oh, uh, it looks longer than what a if yes. What he's just texting someone else? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh! Damn. So wait. Wow, we know who does all the talking in this relationship. <laughs> uh, by the way, you found your guy, Whitney. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you take this woman to be anymore. your wife forever? Do you take my hand in marriage? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe give her the other hand. Maybe give her dude, the other hand. I bet, right? I bet you could do some fucking damage to my pussy with that hook, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Absolutely. Clear. <laughs> Don't do it, son. You'll never see that hand again. <laughs> <laughs> I would pay to watch that for sure. <laughs> I would absolutely love it. <laughs> Incredible. Aaron, if you were uh, if you were going to have sex with Whitney, is there anything special that you would do? Any special moves or uh, anything like that? I mean, I'd imagine that you really have some um, some real tricks up your sleeve. You can, uh, I'm so insecure. I'd be like, who are you texting? 
<laughs> Wait, we need to text him. <laughs> Who is that? Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Give it to me. <laughs> what would you do to Whitney Cummings? I'm interested to find out. This is a fun game. Yeah. <laughs> I think I need a divorce. Wait, wait, what? Wait. I think I need a divorce. <laughs> we turn that mic up. up on Starts that. with a prenup, brother. <laughs> so wait, uh, can, can I ask you a, a technical question? Have you ever thought about writing your setups first, letting them play, and then hitting your punchlines? Because it did sound like people were stepping on some of your setups. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't ask. I can already tell. <laughs> I can already tell by how he reacted that uh, that he has uh, that he has thought about this, but the technology isn't quite exactly where it needs to be yet. Yep, you see that we're like twin brothers yeah. or something like that. You guys are. Kind of yeah, we brothers. have a, we have a good connection. He's literally my favorite person to interview in the history of the show because it's like there's timing and space and watch. He has he's gonna he's gonna say something right now. Watch. It's hard to do. I tried to time it line by line, but it's hard. He's talking about his cock right now. Uh, it's, it's very hard. Very hard. I love it. The great it. thing about sucking your dick, I feel it's like... It's always hard. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Every single week, this motherfucker absolutely dominates. Jim, is this the craziest shit ever or what? And so funny, really. And the jokes are great, and the timing is perfect. That was a, uh, I would like to hear the answer to that, though. <laughs> oh, I get to talk to Josh Blue Balls now? <laughs> Tony? Oh, wow, Tony? They don't know who it is. Right, yeah. No, I know. I know that's that's crazy. why I looked at you guys, that's and I was crazy. like, this is going to bomb with the audience. But at least I'll make Bert laugh. Is it, can I, is it cerebral palsy or cerebral palsy? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I, wait, well, let, no. One let, or two, one or two. Let the Vic's yeah. voice, let yeah. the voice. Yeah, let the Apple voice. I dated voice. a girl with cerebral palsy. You dated a girl with cerebral palsy? Ask the mute guy. <laughs> Ask the new guy? <laughs> Fuck. You dated a girl with cerebral palsy? Ask the mute guy. Fuck, palsy? I said it again. I stepped on your words. I think it's cerebral. Yeah. Cerebral there you palsy. Go. Is it? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You would know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You dated a girl that you said? Cerebral palsy, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Can, Cerebral palsy. Can you give us a little bit of like a background on that? Yeah. I was, I met her on a plane. We took Xanax. She had a cat. <laughs> we went partying in Soho and we got fucked up. And on our second date, my buddy's like, hey man, I think something's wrong with your chick. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, like, do, you, do, you, do you know her? <laughs> oh shit. When he does that, that means he's got something to fucking say. So I discovered something crazy this weekend. Uh -huh. I looked down and realized that my body is really fucked up. <laughs> Finish this, please. <laughs> well, I was having a problem, and I thought the best thing to do was call Jason Rouse, and his solution was to eat mushrooms in Zilker Park with my dog. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Jason Rouse name drop. Uh, so how did that go for you? How was mushrooms with your dog? And does your dog have I started to freak out, so I decided to distract myself by running around the park for two hours shirtless with a stick in my mouth. Wow. Yeah, in that's how I fell in love. I feel bad for anybody else on mushrooms that day at Zilker Park. Just like, <laughs> did you guys fucking see that? Did you fucking see the guy with the fucking stick in his mouth? <laughs> By the way, the best part of Bert's story is that the girl didn't have cerebral palsy. You just broke her back when you rolled over on her. <laughs> No, she did have cere cerebral, 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 am I saying it wrong now? Yes. Yeah. Cerebral palsy. I went out with her on a Sunday afternoon and, uh, and she was wearing sneakers was the first thing. I was like, oh, what's up with that? And then she, no, on a Sunday afternoon in a sundress and then she cut her hand with her right hand, cut her steak with her right hand and ate with her right hand. And then I was like, and then I, and then Patrice, I was when I was uh, Patrice was alive, and Patrice goes, "You're such an alcoholic that you dated a chick for three dates, got so fucked up, and didn't know she had cerebral palsy." 
And I was like, yeah, yeah. it was, well, it's Soho. There's a lot of cobblestone streets. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. I swear to God. I, I swear to God. No, I swear to God. She was a big fan of Guns N' Roses. So a year later, I, she sucked my dick and whatever. But a year later, she, I, we're broken up. And I bring her to this TV show and, and Slash from Guns N' Roses is there. And we get fucking wasted with Slash. I bring her. And when she goes to get the door, I, it's noticeable she's got cerebral palsy. She's reaching across her body to get the handle. And Slash, we're hammered. She walks out and Slash looks at me and goes, yo, that chick? And I was like, man, I was about to say, yeah, I didn't notice it. And he goes, she's perfect. <laughs> and all I could hear was Slash, uh, Patrice giggling, going, you're as big of an alcoholic as Slash. <laughs> now you fucked up the way I say it. You have it, right? You talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to see you finally learned how to put on a shirt. I've been doing it with a hook hand for years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aaron motherfucking. Bert's taken off his shirt so many times he has breast cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it? What is? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Aaron Belial, I I mean, I am just absolutely obsessed with you. Every you single be careful, just so you know. I told this joke last night, but it's true. The M and the B are right next to each other on a keyboard. So Oh I'm just to be very clear. <laughs> it's just with with one good hand I would be careful. <laughs> Well, technically, he can say the N-word because he's not saying the N-word. I would, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I don't want to be here. Don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. It was great seeing you. It was great seeing you. It was great seeing you. The moment you've all you. been waiting for. This is anything can happen. He's typing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the official response by Aaron Belial. Do I look retarded? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> hold, on. hold on. Band, hold on a second. He had a good line. What? Do I look retarded? <laughs> no. Well. Uh, I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday. He's on the Secret sometime. Show Thursday. He's on everything moving forward. He's going to go back to Canada for a little while. He's Canadian, but we're getting him an American citizenship, by the way. How about a hand for the new American, Aaron Belial, everybody? The new American, Aaron, down the middle here, down the middle. They keep, keep going. Do I look retarded? You guys having fun out there, huh? 